So now we're going to talk about computing Social Security tax. So we learned about what Social Security was in the last video and how the program works. And workers are taxed to pay for that program. So how does this work? Well, every worker is taxed at a rate of 6.20% of their gross income up to a limit of $132,900. So we'll talk about how to implement this in a minute. So right now, if I want to compute my Social Security tax on $100,000, I would take my $100,000 and simply multiply by the percentage, which is here, and I get $6,200. Now let's say this changed to $200,000. Let's say I made $200,000. Well, now it appears that my Social Security tax is now $12,400. But that's actually incorrect because you're limited by the fact that we have, you only get taxed up to $132,900 of your income. In other words, if you make more than $132,900, the rest of the money that you make is not subject to Social Security tax. So what we have to do is we have to adjust this formula. And one way we can adjust this is we can do the minimum. We can do the minimum, the smaller of the number we just computed, or the limit times the rate. And this will give us the smaller of the two. So $8,240 is the maximum amount anybody can actually be taxed from Social Security in a given year. So for example, if I make $50,000, you'll see that goes down to $3,100. If I make a million dollars, that doesn't go past $8,240 because we took the smaller, the minimum of the two values. All right, thanks, guys.